I remember we really cared, like, what we, what we did and what we looked like. And Tom was very demanding, you know? It was all, he was very professional even without knowing he was. That's my memory of Tom was driven. You know, he would tell things to people, promoters, managers, heavy. I mean, he would talk to people that were, you know, we were all supposed to be cowering from, and he would flatten them. I'm not really that good at business, but I did get a, a, a great education early on, one that I didn't want <laughs> at all, just because I was ripped off, I was stolen from, robbed. You know, there goes your songs. But wait, they didn't write any songs. They don't even know how they go, but they own them. Our hands were tied, you know, and sort of couldn't really put a record out, and for a while they wouldn't even allow us to tour. I heard you made this album with your own money. How is that possible? Yeah, we, we couldn't very well take money from a record company that uh, was going to sue us. Those people would rather, they would rather just, what's really strange is they would rather destroy you than see you live, live through it to make the money for somebody else. It's all just money. You know, when your record comes out, it doesn't say, Damn the Torpedoes, this album was made during a lawsuit. It was a very difficult time for those guys, and I, I don't know how they got through it. We had no choice but to make it as intense and as, as aggressive a record as it was. We may have recorded Refugee, I mean, a hundred times. At that time, it was just relentless. And I don't know if that was everything coming together, but I'll tell you what, it came out great. That's a great record. I'm proud of that record, and it sounds great every time I hear it. He still calls me when he hears Refugee on the radio. We work so hard on it that I think Jimmy still thinks we're working on it. I still call Tom when I hear it on the radio. If I'm in my car, I dial his number, I say, hey, man, check this thing out, man. This thing still, still sounds great, man. I said, you know, uh, I said, we were great. <laughs> Damn the Torpedoes is still one of my favorite albums we ever made. I think the songs were really inspired by the stress and legal attacks and the general feelings we were going through at the time, but it was uh, a big success and it blasted us into what we would call the mainstream. And I think now we realize that things would be different. We would have to work even harder not to become the very machine that we set out to destroy.